Hi, welcome back to the video. Um, in the background you're going to be seeing a little speed paint of me drawing Minerva, a character that I created a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to talk about where she came from, how I created her. Um, I'm also going to discuss how I made, how I make OCs in general, just the design process and stuff. I didn't record the real time process of the sketching. So that's why you're seeing the Procreate footage right now, but it is going to slow down in just a second when I start doing her line art. So you get a general idea of the different stages of this, this drawing went through. I redrew, redrew her hair a couple of times, redrew her wings a couple of times, didn't really know if I wanted to give her wings at all. So you'll see the different stages of her design here. Um, and I hope that gives you a general idea of what my sketching looks like. So... A couple of weeks ago I had a dream and in that dream there was a group of five friends and they were walking along the pier of a lake and at, they got to the end of the pier and once they got there uh, uh, the water started rumbling and up shot five different dragons. Uh, I remember each of them really distinctly. Uh, there was an orange one, there was a blue one that looked like an eel and the blue one was very clearly the, the lead of the dragon um, gang or whatever so all of the dragons come out of the water uh, and start talking to the five people and they explain we are choosing you as our champions to save the world um, essentially so I remember each dragon had its own thing the one you're seeing right now is Minerva um, and she is a seeing dragon kind of is it is clairvoyance the right word like she can see things that we can't she can see the future she can see different places on the planet she can see outcomes and different realities she can try like walk through them she can essentially open a portal and walk through it um this was in my dream and i just wanted to interpret her by drawing her. Uh, I'll probably do the other dragons too but I started off with Minerva because I remembered her the most. She was the most vivid memory in my head. Um, originally she was orange and I think blue. Like her skin was orange and I kind of played around with it a little bit. You saw that I played around with the colour scheme. I guess that's what I'm doing right now and um, I kind of landed on a different colour scheme that was in my head but that's okay, I just, I thought this, the colour scheme I ended up with looked pretty good. When I was designing her, I wasn't really sure, because in my head I kind of, I knew I wanted her to have a third eye. I knew I wanted her eyes to be glowing. I debated blinding her and having the one eye glowing at the top, but then I was like, no, I wanted her eyes to be glowing. And uh, I wasn't, like, I didn't know if I wanted to give her wings, because it's like, realistically, if she's a seeing dragon, would she need wings? Um, probably not, but... I gave her wings in the end, I thought they looked cool, so. And then I also didn't know if I wanted her hair to be up or down, because I was I was set on having two braids, two plots, and I, I didn't do it because I thought it would like be it would hide, it would distract from the wings. Um so I didn't end up giving her the two plots. So when you're creating an original character in OC, you kinda wanna focus on the elements of the design that you wanna draw attention to. For me, it was the eyes and the wings. They were really important to me to solidify her draconic uh, element to her design. I think without that, you wouldn't have really been able to tell that she's a dragon. So I felt having the hair up and out of her face in two braids, instead of having the two braids falling on her shoulders, it would have distracted from the design elements that I thought were more important. So when you're designing an OC, I think it's like, think to yourself, what is it that you want to focus on? So, okay, um, the character's blind. Uh, they always wear a red glove. And that's the two things you want to focus on. So you're not going to give them uh, bracelets or anything, on the other hand, that glow in the dark because that's going to distract from the right glove. That's just an example off the top of my head. Like, that's what I would do. Maybe, I don't know. Like, that's just an example of drawing attention to a specific ting and thing in an OC, OC's design. I also kind of experimented with a different colouring style because a lot of my stuff has been super simple lately, but I wanted to 
put a put a little bit more detail i wanted this to feel a, i wanted to put a little bit of extra work into the shading on this and i really really did enjoy the process of it this is the last piece that i made before things kind of got a bit hectic um i started back to college uh monday and then before that during the weekend uh a couple of things came up like family things and it it put me out of action for a week uh, and then I'm back in college now uh, I started this week it's Thursday I started on Monday so I'm gonna get really busy with college and you know things with family have come up and I don't know how much art I'm gonna get to make in the next as time goes on because I'm in third year of college now I don't know how intensive the course is gonna be I don't know if I'll have time for digital art because that's not really a thing that they they don't like digital art in my college course so I don't think it's going to be a, a medium that I get to work in often it's going to have to be something that I do in my free time which is fine I'll figure it out but I just I really enjoyed I really enjoyed creating Minerva and the whole process of bringing her to life my mommy and daddy drove me up to college to move up and we all spent the night in the hotel, we had a few drinks and the next morning I moved back to my apartment, had a shower, I invited my friend over and we hung out in my apartment for a while. The issue, an issue I had is that when I got there they gave me the wrong room in the house. I'm living with my two best friends in a house together and they gave me one of my other friends room so I couldn't actually move all of my stuff into my room for like a day so I had to wait to get my key so when I got my key I was eventually able to unpack everything and my boyfriend was coming over that evening to stay for a week so I was really looking forward to that um as soon as I got everything unpacked the room felt so cozy uh I have a couple of, I'll, I'll see if I can get videos or pictures of the room because I'm not there right now but if I have any pictures or videos of it I'll put them in because I think it's really important to have a space that you feel comfortable in. Like I don't want to sit doing digital art for like three hours in a space that I think is disgusting and sterile. I want it to feel homey, I want it to feel comfortable, I want to be comf like happy where I'm creating my art and I think I achieved it this year with my apartment it would definitely I think be the first time that I'm super happy with my college uh, bedroom we're also going to be decorating the kitchen because it is the 25th of September today I think and we are already thinking about decorating for Halloween one of my favorite holiday I think it's, the order is like Christmas and Halloween are like on the same level of um intensity for me I love it uh and we want to decorate the house for Halloween we want to dress up and ha it's just I'm really looking forward to it so uh, hopefully when I get back I'm go I'm moving back in a couple of days so I'll settle into a routine and hopefully get more consistent content out I'm hoping to upload one free video once a month and uh, maybe one or two coffee videos. Uh, I don't know if this video would be considered a tutorial but I'm gonna count it as a tutorial for how to make an OC because that's what I did here. I drew an OC and I'm not very good at tutorials like it's probably not something I should be doing. I don't know if I have the experience to back up that kind of stuff but I hope someone can learn something from this um, at least just from watching the video, uh, watching the speed paint, how I render, how I sketch, how I colour in and here you're seeing like one of the most prominent things I do is that the word like I like putting my own filter on it like of orange pink and purple and I think it automatically makes the piece look more coherent so yeah this has kind of been a bit all over the place I haven't recorded anything in a really long time I didn't really know what to talk about uh, I've had a lot of stuff come up my head's kind of been all over the place I already have like four or five college projects and we are we haven't even had a real college class yet we've only really had introduction week not a single real college class and i already have like five things uh to work on so hopefully hopefully i'll settle into a routine in the next few uh in the next few weeks and 
I'm not going to be doing a lot of traveling this year as opposed to other years. I'm going to be staying where I am and keeping myself busy up there. So I'll have hopefully have a bit more free time. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. You'll we'll have to bear with me. Um, I am hoping for the best though. I am. You can probably tell, but I'm just throwing in my final touches right now and the video is coming to an end. So I'm going to throw in my final thoughts here. Uh, this was a really fun piece to make. Uh, I really want to make other dragons. So if you have any suggestions on dragon girls, guys to make, what powers would they have? What would they look like? I'd love to draw more. Um, not just the ones that I dreamt up, you know. I think this might be the first video where I included my friend Dan's music, so I'm gonna link his music down below. He made this music for me and the background music that you're hearing is by him and go look at his channel. He uploads funny videos and he's funny, so <laughs> wow, great shout out. So anyway, congratulations for making it to the end of the video. I was kind of talking about a lot of different things, kind of life updates, how to make an OC, a bunch of different things talked about, so I hope that's okay. Stay tuned. Hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have another video, if not less than that. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I enjoyed editing. Um, see you next time. Bye.